Welcome back to another day in the life with Illegal Mist. We are back on the account. Ended up being an interesting night last night. I had thought about going for the Champ Chase tournament and seeing if I could potentially get first place for it. I know we talked about it yesterday. So I had said that if I averaged, you know, if I got the average points, if I had pulled all of my shards, I would have gotten like 14,870 points for Champ Chase. And so I saw right before I went to bed, the top guy was at like 10,000 points or something like that. So I was pretty enticed. I set an alarm early in the morning at like 4 a.m. And I checked the leaderboards. The guy went up a little bit and then uh, the tournament ended up ending and top place got 14,807. So I woke up, uh, I think the tournament ended at like 4.05 a.m. And I got up, I think at 3.50 a.m. And I checked the leaderboards. And I just wanted to make sure you know, I was gonna check it, make sure, like, if I was in striking distance, if no one had moved, I was potentially gonna do it. Um, but yeah, this, the guy, Leaf McLovin, I think he was sitting at like 10,000 when I went to bed. And I said, if he moves up like a couple thousand, I'll probably just dip out because I don't really wanna try and get into a battle like with one random person at the end. So because he went up, I didn't end up going for it. And I'm glad I didn't because this guy, Steve Alden, who ended up winning at 14,807 points, he had like 8,000 or 6,000 points or something like that, like with like 15 minutes left. So he, he bursted all of the points and I think he just kind of stopped where he stopped. So I don't know if I would have won it if I had went for it. So I'm glad I decided not to. It's just, it's a little too stressful. It's a little bit too much goes on the line. So we've got our 153 voids and uh, we're going to keep them in the account until, you know, the Supreme Kale uh, guaranteed comes out during CVC. You know, we can just hope for it. Oh, the game's trying to tell me something. A two-star ninja as well. No seer today, unfortunately. The two-star ninja would be nice if I could actually get it, but don't have the amount I need right now. So yeah, that was the fun and festivities last night. My wife was like, did your alarm go off in the middle of the night? I was like, uh, yeah, it did. It was funny because she went to bed by the time I had decided I was going to wake up early. And... Uh, I was I was gonna ask her if she wanted to pull the shards like if I wake up and decide that I was going to but then because she was asleep I didn't ask her and then she had woken up like every once in a while she'll kind of just wake up in the middle of the night and like pretend like she's fully awake so <laughs> last night it just so happened that it was one of those nights nice we get another void shard and I'm like laying in bed Ooh, and a sacred great great day for ultra nightmare clan boss so I'm like literally just like laying in bed with my laptop, like whatever, watching some YouTube videos and playing raid. And she kind of just like rolls over and she's like, like, what's up? I'm like, nothing. I'm just hanging out. What's up with you? She's like, not much. I'm like, OK. I'm like, well, she's already awake and she's acting like she's fully awake. Like, do you want to pull some shards at four in the morning? She's like, no. Like, okay, <laughs> good night. And then she just rolled over and fell asleep like two seconds later. So it was kind of funny. It's funny when uh, that happens. Don't think I want to keep those. Okay, so 70 gems at least, which isn't the worst thing. And then I did end up getting demoted in gold. So I'm back in gold one, which... I would have liked to stay in gold too, but I was just kind of bleeding a bunch of losses yesterday. Um, I guess you can't really see them, but for some reason, like I get a win, I get like plus seven, like, or, you know, I'll win all three battles and I'll get like plus 21, but then I have one loss and it's like, I lose 50. It's just, it's kind of nutty. Like, I feel like you lose so much. And we have the doom tower reset, which is awesome. 
So with this one, let's count up the good rewards. So we get one void, two voids, a sacred, a Lego, three voids, two Legos, two sacreds. So not too bad. And I think this is one of the easier ones too, right? I forget which rotation this even is. Frost Spider. Yeah, so you bring in Lydia if you want, or just someone with super high accuracy and HP burn, which Ninja would actually work really well now that I have him with high accuracy. So cool. And CVC is starting soon. I'm hoping that our clan's going to be able to do pretty solidly for it. We've, we only have 29 right now, but um, we're looking for a 30th person. So if anyone's interested, the PR minimum is 400k. So if you can hit 400k, let us know. We can get you in. And uh, yeah, we. I think you guys all saw we hit ultra nightmare nightmare we we hit every clan boss you would want and then for hydra we down everything so um yeah if there's any anyone interested in joining let me know and we can get you on the team and uh we're pretty active in discord as well which is pretty cool so yeah um let me know we're just over seven thousand gems which is nice too and i think for cvc my priorities if we don't have a guaranteed champ, I think I'm just gonna farm spider pretty hard. I think that's the goal, but at the same time, we have the dragon tournament going, so I might burst out all of the points for the dragon tournament just so I can get the rewards, which I don't really even know if the rewards are gonna be super great. They're probably gonna be just like this, but you know, may as well, and then uh, do some spider so I can get some good accessories and then more importantly get more silver because we are looking low but I don't want to drop my gems too much and yeah I don't know if I had said this but so I won a giveaway from YST like a couple weeks ago and then I entered another one and I won that one too so I I can't remember exactly what the rewards are but I think it's another like 500 gems and then I think I even get a void shard from it too so Huge shout out to YST. My man is feeding me the gems, which is fantastic. So that's been really fun. Um, yeah, and we are almost done with the weeklies for this week. And then we're coming up close to this void and sacred as well. So just got to do a couple more advanced quests too. So, and I was waiting just because the tag ones so much easier today i was like trying all these weird teams last night because i was like i don't know i knew i wasn't gonna win and i was like well let me just try some of these teams on some of the harder defenses and see how we do and yeah my plans outside of raid today i have to go get some like antibiotic stuff for my dog because yesterday she ran into a tree and like poked her eye a little so she has a little bit of a scratch on it and uh i'm just gonna go apparently there's like a, a store near us that you can pick up some eye stuff for your dog so gonna do that and um i have to get my hair cut this is like the literally the longest my hair has been in six seven years it's it's so long it's it's gross for me um so definitely need to get that cut and i'm looking forward to it i went last week to try and get it cut but the place was closed so oh well but hopefully uh they will be open and if not i should have time to kind of wait around and get it cut but yeah i don't even know what this team is it's just kind of mishmashed there we go I was like, you know what? If they kind of work for Hydra, I'll, you know, they'll work for 3v3. I just want to get one more done and then chill. I really don't want to get my points too high. I'm just going to bring, take him out. 
throw in do I have any other damage dealers there we go okay sweet hopefully it makes it slightly faster nice Yeah, but um, we live in like way northern New Hampshire, so we live like in the middle of nowhere, and uh, so I got to drive like forty-five minutes or an hour to go find a store that has this stuff for my dog, which is kind of funny. All right, so now that those are done, we can do our faction crips. This one's really slow, so I'm not gonna do that. But my one for demon spawn is actually pretty quick. Sometimes it's quick, other times it is not. And I think it just depends on if Sissia lands her decreased defense and weaken. Because then we just nuke the first two waves. I have this on a preset too, just because she'll use her A2 instead of her HP burn and then the decreased defense and weaken. But I should probably set it up so Helicath doesn't use his block damage until now. Although I don't know it matters too much. And then this is the nice thing about Kaimar for these two. Like, they all have the unkillable, which is a pain in the butt. But Kaimar can come in and just put them all to sleep, take it off. Boom, just like that. And then hopefully we get back around to Candy's ability. No. <laughs> they just locked him out. What a pain. Yeah, if I had a, another damage dealer for Demon Spawn instead of Helicath, it'd be much better. I wonder if I do. My dog's going wild in the background with her toy. I mean, I have Drex. Magnar. But I don't have him built up at all. I think he's booked, though. Yeah, he's booked. Oh, yeah, but then the other issue, if I bring Sissia in, he won't be able to use his nukes. And then we have Tyrant. Oh, yeah, so... So the game plan, now that I know that it's PR CVC, I have 11 books. So Martyr's going to get three of them. And then I really want to do Staltus, but I don't know if it's the wisest move. What I might do is... Uh, rebuild him from his slow slow stone skin to really fast regen kind of like similar to ninja except for the fact that he doesn't have 500 accuracy but just like super sustainable and pretty quick and then does he have masteries he does i could switch up his masteries as well so that way he goes down the support tree and gets like you know evil eye laura steel and then this one so that he gets the 24 speed but then we kind of lose out on some of the defense. But I don't know if the defense is as important as the speed. And then get Whirlwind of Death. So that way, 18 plus 24. Was that uh, a lot? 20, 40, 52 speed or something like that with my quick math. Uh, right? 20, 30, no, 42. Yeah, 42. So 42 extra speed, which is pretty insane. And then, um, yeah, hopefully he'll be able to go in and just kind of like take down the waves and he could either solo it or like put him in with someone like Nishak and Nishak can kind of just nuke the waves down super quick. And then when it comes to the boss, he can go. Might be like a two minute run or something. And, you know, as long as it's pretty close to 100%, then will be good. I think it would be worth it more so than having the team be like a 20 second farm. And realistically too, when I had him in regen, 
for this, it was still like a, I don't know what that team is. I wonder if I, no, this is it. It was still really quick. It was like in the 30s or 40 seconds. So not 20 something seconds, but quick enough. Boom. See her so close to that six star. Can't wait for it. But yeah, I mean, this one's like 30 seconds a lot of the time anyway. It's so funny, too, because they don't get like, I don't think it counts as their damage when they reflect the poisons. So it's like no one really does a lot of damage other than Seer. So, yeah, we are going to do that. I would like to spend gems on Minnow for my, where are they? I probably put them in the vault. So I made a whole bunch of space yesterday because I thought I was going to have to pull shards. So I was like, well, I may as well get the space ready just in case I need it. Uh, and I didn't end up needing it. So that was kind of a waste. But yeah, so for my man eaters, I do need to get them fully mastered. And then... Uh, my other pain keeper, I could potentially do masteries for, but I'm not super worried about that. Mostly the man eaters, but yeah, that's where we will end it today. I'm still stocking up my mortal soul stones. Got to do my iron twins today. And yeah, I will keep everyone updated and hopefully we get that guaranteed supreme kale and we'll be chilling and super happy about it. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.